Welcome back to Reading Bear. Today, we will take a look at some new I Don't Work Here Lady stories. And if you enjoyed my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and post some bear emojis in the comments. Let's go! The first one is titled, Why Would I Be Working With My Toddler? And Why Would A Store Employee Kidnap A Child On The Clock? This happened a few months ago, mid-October when the weather was still nice where I live. I went to our local Kroger to grab a few things I needed for dinner. This is important because I was not using a car, just a basket. My oldest son who is three and a half loves to go to the store and do anything that involves getting out of the house, so I decided to let him tag along and leave his other brother at home with dad. Grocery trips for us are kind of like our little mum and son dates I usually let him pick out a toy or a treat of some kind. Since outings are not as often since the pandemic, I try to keep things normal and exciting for him. This is where story comes into play. For note I was wearing a light blue polo, but the store dress code is a dark blue polo with the store logo and car keys. I was wearing jean shorts that in no way was too short but definitely wouldn't be allowed for any employee of a grocery store. People involved will be MMTS toddler son and RK rude Karen. So about 20 minutes into our trip I had grabbed the few vegetables I needed it was just shopping around the canned goods aisle to grab some things I might need in the future. I was putting a can of something back in exchange for a larger version I didn't see at first when I hear, ma'am I need your assistance right this instant, not working there I figured someone was just being an ass to a nearby worker and carried on until about 30 seconds later while looking at different canned good items when RK grabs my arm and pulls me around M excuse me can I help you. RK I know you heard me now help me find the molasses now M I don't work here clearly so how about no and don't touch me again, as a matter of fact we're in a pandemic and you're not even wearing a mask get away from me RK I have COPD I can't wear one where is your manager that's a violation for you to even ask about my medical condition? Now go find this child's parents instead of dilly dallying around like why are you re supposed to or else ill tell the manager you weren't gonna give this child back m, completely stunned and pissed at this point for one, I didn't ask about your medical condition I said get away from me since you are above health codes. How dare you accuse me of stealing a child, again I don't work here lady and this stolen child happens to be my son. Are you okay? RK yes you did you did ask me you little witch. I know why oh you are a little rotten liar who doesn't want to get in trouble now take me to the manager now why oh you are no older than 16 who are you keeping this child from miam 25 years old he came from my vagina and is my son i do not work here get the hell away from me before i get a manager myself you are scaring my son ts is visible scared and on the verge of tears at this point rk he looks scared because you stole him m so now i'm no longer finding his parents but stole him on the clock rk see you just admitted it you do work here at this point my son is crying and so i just grab his hand and walk to find a manager as fast as i can with rk screaming behind me that she's getting a manager and that i am kidnapping a child so people are starting to look I finally find the manager, it doesn't take much to explain the situation as RK was trailing behind me screaming as I was talking to him. He very quickly confirmed I did not work there and then told her to leave for making such accusations and not adhering to local health department guidelines she of course refused started causing an even bigger scene on how we were human trafficking in the store and the police up getting called by her, yes, she was the one who called 911 to report a kidnapping and she is arrested in front of a good 150 people. Basically, just had to tell the cops my situation and how she was following me throughout the store accusing me of stealing my own son and that was that and went home and on with the rest of my day. So RK I sincerely hope a jar of molasses was worth a trip to jail and you received the mental health care you clearly need. The next one is titled, Not This Again. I'm back from training and got loped back into another blind Karen again. I need someone to just tell me is it my face or is it just my luck? Story, gone to another store to buy some snacks and literally was back from the field. The store was relatively empty with a few employees around, I just started to choose the snacks I want to get when I heard the dreaded, a hump, Karen, I need to find some item I have no idea about. Keep in mind I'm in normal clothing but you really couldn't see that as I have a bloody plate carrier with fully loaded rifle magazines and a bloody patrol rifle slung on my chest. Sorry for the caps, I'm still ticked about this. 
O, the plate carrier literally says, Polis, front and back in huge white text with a blue background. I stood up and looked Karen in the eyes and asked, Ma'am, you do understand I don't work here, yes? Karen with a snarky tone, not long with that attitude. Remembering I was sent to court for the last Karen, I turned my back on her and started to walk out. Her still following me and yelling on the top of her lungs, I will get you fired for this. Eventually she walked out behind me and the alarm went off, now the security held her back because she was now considered stealing. And just my luck they needed a cop to judge the situation. I stayed around and the store wanted to press charges for attempted theft. Cuffed her and I went back in to buy the snacks, now with a cussing and kicking Karen in the back seat. Pissed off, I drove back to the station like a man on a mission and shoved her in the holding cell and dropped off the documents and got the heck out. I was done with the last one and training got my mind off it for a good chunk of three months, got back literally a day ago and now this. This happened a few hours back, I'm writing this in anger so I will rewrite anything wrong above. Thanks in advance. The next one is titled, Same Karen Twice in Two Weeks. The cast. Me, Der, BF, one of my besties, BFC, besties child, CK, crazy Karen, WM, Walmart manager, DS1 and DS2, deputy sheriffs, being the year of pandemic and when things were sort of getting back to normal at the beginning of the summer with retail stores. And just let everyone know, I'm a female, 36, and in really great shape and a cyclist. I was out mount biking with some friends on a wonderful late afternoon, good workout also. Started to head home and stopped at a Walmart to pick up a few things to make dinner for my daughter and me. Then I happened to see BF with BFC, we greeted, and I have always been like an aunt to her child. He was turning 4 years old and she was buying him a bicycle for his birthday. This is right up my alley and I said great. Let Auntie K help you out with it. Both were happy with it. We found a good 16-inch wheel starter bike, looked at helmets, and I even fitted the helmet to him. BF and I were chatting a bit, BFC was looking at other toys and this is where I get the, a uh hum. I turned, I saw the Karen in all her glory and yes, every bit of the Karen looks with her child. I said I'm sorry if I'm in your way of the shelves. Then in not so nice of a tone CK says, now that you are done with her, you can help me with my child and bike for him. Me, sorry ma'am, I don't work here, and I was just helping my friend with her son. CK, yes, you do, you are wearing cycling clothes. Me, I just got finished with a ride about an hour ago and here to pick things up and saw my friend just helping her. I'm sure one of the employees would be glad to help you and I really don't work here BF, she doesn't work here lady. CK, you need to butt out and shut up, I wasn't talking to you. Me, OMG. Let's go and get away from this crazy lady. CK, what? How dare you call me that? I will have you fired. Me, trying to stay calm and I repeated. I don't work here. My friends always say that I am scary when I'm mad. Being a tall woman, 5 feet 10 inches, and fit. I'm not a small woman. We tried to walk away and CK grabs my arm. I pull out of her grip and tell her, if you touch me again, I will have you arrested. I try to walk away again, and she grabs my cycling jersey. CK, you are going to help me and I'm going to report you to you the manager also me, let go of my jersey. You are ducking wingnut. Then a Walmart manager comes around the corner and CK screams at him, you need to fire your employee for not helping me. WM, ma'am, she doesn't work here, and you need to let her go before I have you escorted out the door. CK, how dare you treat paying customers this way. Me, I pull my jersey from her grip and she tries to slap me. I grab her wrist in mid-flight and spoke. You have now done it lady, and twisted her arm behind her. CK is now yell assault and screaming about how bad I am hurting her arm as I pull up behind her back. I do have a lot of fighting training. Judo and some MMA. My BF is recording it all on her phone and trying to BFC calm at the same time. Me to WM, call the sheriff department right now, I'm having her arrested. CK, let me go. I will sue you all. You are all going to jail. Me, I don't think so. I wrenched her arm up harder, her kid crying, and escorted her up to the front of the store as we waited for someone from the sheriff's department. Two deputy sheriffs walk in and I knew them both from having to use the sheriff's department a lot in my line of work. I let go and CK screams, arrest her now for assaulting me. D 
DS1 of CK, ma'am. You need to calm down right now. CK, no. She assaulted me. Me, BF, and WM just stood there and waited for the DSs to handle everything and answer anything that was asked to us. DS2, okay what is going on here? CK, you know this witch. Arrest her. DS1, you need to be quiet or I'm going to arrest you. I was feeling bad for her child, he was crying as another Walmart employee tried to keep him calm. CK kept screaming and then they cuffed her as I, WM and BF talked to DS2 about what happened. I didn't want to press charges, because I didn't want to spend time in court with it all. I spend enough time in court with my line of work. She was banned from that Walmart. WM apologized for everything and gave my BF and me $50 gift cards. I handed mine to BF, which paid for the bike and helmet. I never got my items to make dinner as I called my daughter and told her we were ordering out. I thought that would be the end of this and would never see that woman again. I was wrong. Add to the cast. Om, office manager, two weeks go by and I'm in my office at work and I told everyone in the office about what happened at this Walmart. By the way, I own a home rental business, family owned, I spent my whole life in this business and took over when my parents retired. Nice size business with 40 employees from office to maintenance. This one fine day, one of my office employees come back to the office with this couple. I was in my office with the door shut. But my employee introduced them to my office manager, CEO, and they were going to file and sign final paperwork on a home rental. My CEO buzzes me and asked if I could come out to meet the new renters and introduce myself to them. As I walked up front, the look of shock hit my face, and couldn't believe it. It was CK. CK sees me. You. Don't tell me you work here. Me, yes, I do work here. I said calmly. CK, WHO is your manager. I'm going to have you fired. Me, I see her husband, this poor cook, now turning red from embarrassment and then saying and pointing to my om. She is the manager, talk to her. CK yelling my om, you should fire this worthless witch. Om, I can't fire her, only the owner of the company can fire her. CK, I want to speak to the owner. Om, points at me and speaks. She is the owner. Me, yes, you are in my place of business, I'm not going to rent a house to you and I'm asking you to leave right now, never to come back before I call the sheriff department on you. She leaves in a big hurry with her husband in tow. My sales employee was laughing about it and then joked. I guess I don't get my rental bonus on my next check. I laughed and said I will pay you the bonus after having to deal with her. He was happy about that. The next one is titled, Mistaken for a Hospital Employee. Cast, me, older gentleman, og. This happened yesterday. Set up, I needed to go get some lab work done for one of my doctors and I live conveniently close to an urgent care center that is just a 10 minute leisurely walk from my house. Since I planned on going on a run afterwards, I threw on a pair of lightweight pants, a long sleeve moisture wicking shirt, my running shoes, and a trucker hat that is my go-to running cap. Importantly, the shirt had a small logo on the front of my mother's veterinary clinic. In hindsight, the pants also probably looked like black scrub bottoms. I mask up and walk down there. The lab is just off the lobby, so after I was screened and signed in, they told me to wait there and they would call me back. Typical procedure. I spend a lot of time sitting at my computer while at home, so when I go out, I prefer to stand instead of sitting. Now, I was in the army for a brief time before a medical issue cut my career short, but it was long enough for habits to stick. Habits such as standing at ease, rest whenever I must wait somewhere as well as preferring to be able to see the entire room and not have anyone behind me. So, these habits put me in an edge of the room not too far from the main entrance. The lobby is not very large, and I note that I am also the only person under 70 in it, other than the occasional staff. I'm there for maybe 5 or 10 minutes and this one older gentleman who seems to be waiting for the pharmacy kind of zeroes in on me and starts walking towards me. I was raised to be respectful and helpful, so I wait to see what he is going to say. Og, do you know when they are giving out the shots? I knew he meant the vaccine. This is America and our rollout has sucked, so I know folks are pretty desperate for any information. Of course, I was also brought up to be honest. Me, I have no idea. Og, mildly incredulous, you have no idea. 
He said it as a statement, not a question. I just shake my head. And Og starts to turn away. He turns back after a couple steps. Og, you looked important, so that's why I asked you. Me, oh, ha ha, no, I am just here for some lab work. I sit a lot at home, so I prefer to stand when I'm out. Og, I understand that ha ha. He wasn't unkind, but I could hear a certain frustration and exasperation in his voice until he learned I didn't work there. I hope an employee was able to give him some information on the vaccine. And hopefully, it was good news. The next one is titled, IDK if the cheese is still on sale. This past weekend I was in a local supermarket with my fiancé. Due to a problem, I have with crowds of people I will concentrate on her and act silly. So, we're shopping, and we get to the frozen goods. We were laughing and having a good time when we got to the cheesecake there was a phone right by the freezer, and it started to ring, and it kept ringing for a while. So, I am being silly pick it up and say, frozen foods. How may I help you? And an older lady says, do you have any more 24 count craft sliced cheese and is it still on sale? So, at first, I was just going to say, yup sure do, but she sounded super elderly and I felt bad. So dairy is way on the other side of the store. So, I say, hold on, I'll go check, and I run all the way to the dairy and find the cheese she wanted and found the correct price and run all the way back. When I get back there's an actual employee on the phone and my fiancé has moved down the aisle. So, he's talking with the old lady and he says, Will ma'am this is frozen I'll have to transfer your call to dairy. I yell and scare the crap out of him, wait I got the price. He stares at me and squints his eyes and I take the receiver from him and tell the lady super sweetly that the cheese is no longer on sale and what the price is, and I hang up. The worker gives me a nasty look and I shrug and walk off to where my fiancé is. He huffs and stomps off. We laugh at his behavior and what I just did. I just did a price check at a store I don't work at. We go about with our few remaining items and go to ring ourselves up at the self-serve checkout. We're about halfway through and a tall man in a white shirt and tie walks up and asks did I answer the phone in the frozen section? So, I guess he works there, and I say yes, I did, and I went and got the price and gave the right price to your customer. It was ringing for so long and blah blah blah. I know I can't be in trouble. He then gives me a card and before I can look at it he says, my employee told me what you did and how he was going to transfer the call because he couldn't be bothered with going to the dairy section, he should have been as willing to go as far as you went to help the customer so this is a $25 gift card and take my thanks, my fiancé and I just look at each other and laugh a little and tell him thank you. The gift card paid for our groceries. On the way out of the store we see the guy the first took the phone from picking up the parking lot. He looked at me with stabbing knife eyes and I just say, my fault, and we walk to the car laughing some more. The next one is titled, funny moment at a Starbucks in Japan. I've lived here in Kobe, Japan about 15 years, now. One of the reasons I love Kobe is the wide variety of foreign influences that come together here in this fairly small city of about 1,300,000 people. There are quite a few foreign fast food chains, MCD, Burger King, Wendy's etc, along with all the ritzy shopping places, Coach, Louis Vuitton, Prada, that I never go to. And many, many small restaurants, clubs and stores run by foreigners, some of whom are my friends. And, naturally, quite a few Starbucks outlets. One day I was doing a little extra work in a suburb where I have seldom gone, so I took the train there a bit early to avoid being late for a meeting. I hate being late for anything. Figured I'd hang out in their Starbucks until it was time. They've got their seats separated for virus, of course, and masks required, with hand sanitizer at the entry door. I'm wearing some nice business clothing with a tie, but it's chilly, so I d replaced my suit jacket with a warm, casual one. Found a seat, dropped the jacket and came back to stand in line. Well, the line they marked on the floor leading to the registers wandered, accidentally, past the merchandise and coffee on display. Good marketing, actually. There are four or five people in front of me, so I was halted right in front of their main display. And I can't help noticing, coffee bag missing there, and the rear stock not moved up, somebody removed that cup lid, and it hasn't been replaced, these items on display would look better like that. Since I was standing there anyhow, I fixed them all up. Don't think the customers noticed, but I received very attentive service at the register. Was even offered a free sample of that month's specialty cake to go with my drink. 
Two minutes after I sat down, someone else just happened to stop by with a free sample cup of one of the better blend coffees, too. Hmm. Relaxed for a while, then left my stuff and went to the restroom. It was immaculately clean and spotless, and still evaporating liquid showed that all the counters had all just been wiped down, too. When I returned, I noticed that the staff at the counter all looked relieved, as if they had just made it, or something. By the time they gave me yet another, free sample, of a different snack, I'd figured it out, they thought that I was a foreigner sent by Starbucks to evaluate their shop. Two of them even stepped out from behind the counter and bowed at me as I left. Subtle they were not. Not a typical, I don't work here, story, but thought you'd find it interesting. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and post some star emojis in the comments if you want to support Reading Bear.